If you have a Mac or iPhone, you have definitely dealt with HEIC photos, and you probably want to convert HEIC photos to JPEG uh, using just your phone or just your Mac and not some weird third-party site. Well, you can actually do that. So your Mac and your phone both have the power to convert HEIC to JPEG. You just have to maybe create a little shortcut for it, which I've done for you. There's a link in the description down below. It'll add a button to your phone that allows you to convert HEIC to JPEG. Super easy. Also works on Mac. It's not an app. It's not a weird, sketchy website. It's actually just a shortcut from Apple Shortcuts. And so let's take a look at what that is and how it actually works on both iPhone and Mac. So if I go into my photos here, I had my son take a couple photos here of our plants and stuff. And if you click on a photo, or actually I'm selecting one right now. So if I just tap on one here and open it up and you kind of uh, swipe down on it or click on the eye, it'll uh, show the little information tab with all the metadata. And it shows it's an HEIF photo, which is like that HEIC file type. So if you try to upload this as a profile picture somewhere, it's going to say, no, nope, you can't use that. Please upload a JPEG or something similar. With this shortcut, you can actually just click on the share button and there's a convert HEIC to JPEG button right here. And so you can just click on that and convert this one or select multiple. You can also go out of this and back to your photos and click that select button to select as many photos as you want to then hit the share button and convert from HEIC to JPEG. And you can actually convert this and share it at the same time if you want. Let me show you how it works. It's really easy. It works in the Photos app. It also works in the Files app, and it works on your Mac. It's all the same shortcut. So when we have our photos selected, we can just click that Convert button, and it's going to come up here and convert those to JPEG and ask you, where do you want to save these things? So you can save them to your photos. You can create a new album. Saving to photos would probably let you select an album or just save to recents. You can also save it to your files. So you can just take the converted JPEG and move it over to files in some folder. Or you can go back to the share tab that we had before, but this time you have your converted JPEGs. So you can take those and send them in an email or share them with someone or upload them to some other site or file storage or Instagram or anything like that that you want to. And so if you just wanted to convert these and save them back to photos, I could click on that first save to photos button and then save it to my recents or save it in a specific folder or album, I suppose, that I already have created. So I could just go to recents and recents is basically your photos library. And so that's like where all your photos go uh, without them being inside of an album. Now, what this asks is because there's a lot of security preferences, it basically uh, asks do you want to allow this shortcut to save photos? So that's good. Anything you want to do, like saving to your files or anything like that, it'll always ask if you want to allow it to do that. Now, this shortcut does not use the internet or anything. So it just uses your phone because it's literally Apple's software and Apple's programming that converts these and saves them. Uh, but you're able to share shortcuts with people. And so if you get a shortcut, like you download my shortcut, then Apple's going to say, do you want to allow that shortcut to do certain things anytime those things pop up? Uh, you can allow this one time, or you can actually say always allow, and then this won't pop up anymore if you want to you know, use this and not have to go through this menu. And so we can click always allow, and then it's going to convert those and then save them in here. Now, sometimes like when I have this whole setup, uh, this little shortcut gets stuck right here and there's a little stop button. But as you can see, it actually already converted those and I can just click that button and it goes away. Shouldn't happen for you, but I notice when I record things and I'm using this different sort of iPhone mirroring, sometimes it gets hung up up there. But yeah, it converted those. So now you can see if I unselect these, you can then click on one of them. And this is, I'm gonna click this button down here, or can I just swipe? There we go, swipe up. So this is the original one. You can see the H-E-I-F. And if I swipe to the next one, which is our converted one, you can see it's got all the same metadata. The image name is the same, except for it's a JPEG image now. And so all of those converted ones, we saved right back to the same save location. They've all been converted uh, to JPEG from HEIC. And so the other thing that you can do with this, if I can get out of this really quick, is uh, do it in files. You can also click on the shortcut itself. So let me show you what shortcuts is if you're unfamiliar. 
um, we added that to the menu. So that shortcut is basically in the share menu now. And you can go in files and do the same thing, select uh, images that are in your files and convert them and save them back to photos or save them into files. But this little shortcuts guy right here. So shortcuts is an app that's on every phone. It is an Apple app and it lets you create different shortcuts. They have a couple examples, but this is what this is. It's a convert HEIC to JPEG shortcut that I built out for you. And what you can do is you can actually run it from in here as well. So if you're in the shortcuts app and you see this shortcut, you can actually click on it. And if you don't see that all the shortcuts, uh, you are probably back to this page where you can click all shortcuts right here to go in and see your shortcut. And so you can click on it as well. And it will ask you, hey, you want to select any photos from your photos or from your files if you don't already have some selected. And so that's another cool feature, which also allows you to add this like as an app if you want to, or a shortcut on your home screen. So if you want to do this a lot and click a little shortcut on your home screen or somewhere else, you can actually add this to there and then click it and it will ask you where do you want to upload or where do you want to uh, select these files from to then convert them to JPEG. And so if we click the three dots, we actually go inside the shortcut. I left a bunch of notes in here, little comments that show you kind of the different sections and what's going on, like what it's doing in each of those sections for any of you who are familiar and want to maybe make some edits because you then own this shortcut. So you can do with it what you want. You can even share it with other people. Um, in this little drop down window or drop down icon up here allows you to rename the shortcut. So if you don't want it to be convert HEIC to JPEG, maybe you want it to be named something different in your little share window, uh, you can actually rename it and then that will be the button name. And then you can also add it to your home screen. So we can just click on this to add it like it's a an app or something on the home screen. And so that is the shortcut inside of the shortcuts app. We can run it directly from here if we want to. We can add it to the home screen. Um, and then we also have the ability to uh, use this on our Mac as well. When you download the shortcut, it actually will save it to your downloads folder and your files. And so when we go into files, and maybe we're back on this page, maybe you even have all these toggled down, inside of locations will be on my iPhone. This is everyone's iPhone, by the way. So on my iPhone. And then when you click on my iPhone, there's a folder called downloads. Inside of there, you'll see the shortcut that you've downloaded. And you can actually just click on this once and it will add it to your shortcuts. It'll take you over to the shortcuts app and it'll be there just like we showed you a second ago. And so convert HEIC to JPEG is the download that you'll get in the link in the description or the top comment down below. Now this also works on Mac, which is awesome. So if your shortcuts are shared through iCloud on your Mac and iPhone, you just have to do it in one spot. It'll show up on your Mac, it'll show up on your iPhone. Uh, but if they're not shared or you don't really know what that means, you can just download it to both and install it by basically just clicking on it or double clicking on it. And it will allow you to add that shortcut to uh, Mac and your iPhone, either or. And so the way that it works on Mac, we're just going to exit out of the phone. I don't think we need that anymore. Uh, we're going to go over here and we're going to open up this uh, HEIC folder. So I just got a couple of those photos in here that are HEIC. The way that this shortcut works on Mac is, I mean, you can do it to one, um, one image if you want to, or you can hold shift, select multiple, hold the command key. You can actually select individuals and kind of add them together. But once you have whatever selection you want, you just right click on that and then go down to quick actions and you'll see convert HEIC to JPEG right here. And it'll take you through the same type of menu system, just a little bit geared toward the Mac. So you have saved to current folder. You also have saved to photos if you want or saved to computer, which just means you can choose where you want it to be saved. And so save to current folder is an easy one where it's just going to basically save those JPEG conversions right where those files were. And so you can see here, now we have HEIC originally, and now we have a little JPEG file as well. Now, if you want this to be a .jpg, all you have to do is kind of click on the file name and then click in here and then just delete the E. Um, Mac basically 
their standard system is to save it as a JPEG, JPEG, but sometimes those don't work on certain things. And you can actually just rename it to JPG. It's the same exact file type. The renaming doesn't matter. And then if you actually click on multiple and right click and then go to rename, it should allow you to rename each. Yeah. So you can basically replace text within the name of all of the files. So if you want to say uh, find JPEG and replace it with JPG, you can do that pretty easily and then rename all of those really quickly. So if that's something that's an issue for you you can actually do that really easily here on a mac um a couple of things so we we go back to our shortcuts on mac we can see this shortcut and so this is the shortcut pulled up when you click on like the three dots and pull it up um, on the right hand side we have a little eye icon and this shortcut is set to show in the share sheet which means you get that button on your iPhone. And then it's also uh, able to be used as a quick action in your finder window or services menu, et cetera. And so that's what allows you to use it by right clicking and going to quick actions. Now it may not show up initially in this little window here. And so to customize that, we just click on the customize button the first time that you use it. And it will ask you, hey, are there any shortcuts that you want to add to this quick actions menu of which you can just select convert HEIC to JPEG pretty easily. Same thing with your iPhone on the share sheet. It'll actually show up and let's see if we can get back into the iPhone really quick. It'll actually show up not um, at the top of your share sheet. So that button um, placement that I showed you when we go to photos and we take a photo and then we go to share and you see the button right here. It won't show up at the top. It'll show up at the bottom. But to make it appear at the top or any of these appear at the top, you just go down to the bottom and click edit actions and the top will be your favorites. And so whatever you want to be in your favorites or don't want, you can subtract like this and remove it from your favorites. You can look through all your actions, hit the plus icon, and that will add it to your favorites. So that puts the button at the top of the list. And then we hit done. And now that's gonna be at the top of our list here. So yeah, we can select any photos that we want. It'll convert it from HSC to JPEG. It'll keep the original quality. It'll keep the metadata, the name of the photo. You can then share it, save it, you know, here. If you don't want to double up on your space, you can actually, maybe I can uh, go through and select one of these or select as many as you want, but then go to convert it. And like I showed you before, you can click on share again. And so that will take the conversion and then allow you to basically convert to JPEG and then share it however you want or send it to like Google Drive or something. Maybe you don't want to double up your phone storage space. Um, and I'm going to click always allow again. Maybe you don't want to double up your phone storage space, but you do want to take, you know, this conversion and then airdrop it to your Mac or something. You could do that now because what we have is the JPEG image down here or up here uh, or JPEG images if we have multiple photos that we we're converting and then we can just airdrop them to our Mac or we can use any of the connected apps here, throw them into Canva, send them in a Gmail message, whatever you want, or any of the other um, options down here in the share sheet. Or if you realize that that's not what you wanted, you can just exit out and it won't really do anything, right? Uh, so there you go. That's And it doesn't double up and then share it. It just converts it and then allows you to share it. Um, that is uh converting heic to jpeg uh this little shortcut that i made once again there's a link in the description in the top comment uh, appreciate anyone's support and then when you download it you can actually share it with anyone as well so if you're familiar with sharing shortcuts um, there's nothing stopping you from doing that there's nothing stopping you from editing the shortcut and making changes to it i didn't add a feature in there that deletes the photos so like if you wanted to delete the originals after you convert it because you know i don't want to maybe mess up anything on anyone's phones or pictures i mean pictures can be precious and sentimental so you know if you want to add in that feature that's something if you're familiar with uh shortcuts or anything there's you know you could definitely say you kind of add in that delete feature but you know if you were to select a bunch of photos here for instance like using this select command and um, select 
a ton of photos after you convert it those photos will still be selected and so you can actually just hit the trash can icon down here after you have your jpegs if you want to um, but yeah i wanted to stay away from deleting anyone's photos or like even giving someone the option to accidentally do that in worst case scenario it actually just goes to your recently deleted so you can always restore those images for 30 days um, so i suppose I'm talking myself back into the idea, but maybe, maybe, maybe not. Let me know in the comments if that's a feature that you want. Um, and if there's anything else that you're confused with, with uh, this converting HEIC to JPEG. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And uh, I hope you enjoy the shortcut.